On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2021 Specialized Diverge Elite. The Specialized Diverge Elite is an aluminum gravel bike from Specialized that has newer modern geometry. It's got tons of tire clearance and a two by 10 drivetrain to be able to have a whole ton of fun either on paved or gravel surfaces. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the features, talk about the geometry for the 2021 Elite, as well as we'll of course find out exactly what this bike weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, be sure to sit back, relax, and take a look at the bike with me. And if you enjoy it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As we begin to take a look at the 2021 Diverge Elite, we should talk a bit about what the Diverge is. So Specialized has their Diverge series, which falls in the more gravel specific category from say their endurance road bike, the Roubaix. But what's interesting about the Specialized Diverge is it's a very good option for something that you're gonna do some gravel riding as well as road riding because the frame is hugely versatile. Now compared to previous generations of the Diverge, and this is the third generation, it's got a longer reach, it's got a slacker head tube angle, it has a higher bottom bracket, a little more fork offset, and then of course a shorter stem. And what that makes for is a bike that's gonna have a longer front center, so the front end of the bike is a bit further out from the pedals, tightens up the back end as well, but you still get an upright and comfortable position similar to what you'd have on the Roubaix. So with that longer reach, but shorter stem and a higher offset fork, that's gonna make the bike a heck of a lot more stable when you're off-road or on gravel. And that's almost reminiscent of what we've seen on some of the latest mountain bike offerings where they're adjusting that front center and the steering geometry to make it more stable, but still handle really well. Now, of course, that's gonna be the case here and paired with that lower bottom bracket, it'll make it a real stable descender on a windy paved road or even gravel. And the positioning while having that longer front center, the shorter stem allows you to run the same size bike that you would have otherwise. Now on the frame, you're gonna have neat features like having top tube bag mounts. Of course, you've got all the water bottle mounts you would have normally. You're also gonna have mounts on the fork to be able to run bags up front. And then on the back of the bike, you're gonna have rack mounts as well as fender mounts like you do on the front. And that's gonna give the bike a ton of versatility, which is where we come in to tire size. So on this particular bike, because they're expecting it might be used on the road as well as off-road, it's coming with these specialized road sport tires. The Road Sport tires are 60 TPI wire bead, but they're 700 by 35C, so a nice healthy width. But you'll see you've got tons of tire clearance. And specifically, when we look in the back end, it's got tons of tire clearance as well. And that's due to the construction of the rear end, which they call their aluminum beam construction, allowing it to fit huge tires. So it can run 700C by 47 millimeter width tires, or 650B by 2.1 inch tires. And that aluminum beam construction gives all sorts of tons of room out back without having to have a drop stay and keeps the bike looking pretty nice. Now the E5 frame has internal cable routing. So everything goes inside and it looks pretty nice in my opinion. You've got partially smoothed out welds and you're gonna run a tapered head tube up front and a carbon fiber fork. So going into the part spec, this being a gravel bike, it's gonna be set up with Shimano's GRX group set. The GRX group set comes in a few different levels, but it's gonna have features that are designed around specifically gravel riding. So you've got a little more offset to the levers here, which is gonna make it easier to hold on to the brakes and use the shifter when you're down in the drops and on rough roads. Of course, it's running hydraulic Shimano brakes. So you've got 160 millimeter rotors front and rear mounted on these through axle wheels. And then the drivetrain, GRX drivetrain in a two by 10 variant. So you're gonna be running a 11 to 34 tooth cassette in back. Your GRX derailleur is gonna have a clutch on it, which allows 
the chain to stay nice and taut and you're not gonna have noise or it falling off while you're going. A GRX front crank set, which has a 46 30 tooth chain ring combination. So that's what they call a subcompact. So with that 30 tooth up front and a 34 tooth in back, the gear ratio is below a one to one. And that is a super low gear for climbing. You know, it used to be that we'd get real excited when bikes could come with a one to one ratio. And it's amazing to see that this is coming out of the box even lower than that. For a wheel set, you've got specialized Axis Elite wheels. The Axis Elite wheels are a double walled wide wheel set that should support those wide tire sizes that the frame can run. But unfortunately, they're not tubeless and neither are the Road Sport tires. For a cockpit, 31.8 aluminum specialized stem with a nice short and shallow aluminum handlebar. Going to the back, you've got a 27.2 seat post with a specialized bridge saddle mounted to it. So now that we've taken a look at some of the features and designs of this 2021 Specialized Diverge Elite, let's go ahead and find out what this bike weighs. The actual weight of the Specialized Diverge Elite in a 56 comes in at 21.87 pounds. Well, thanks so much for watching this video on the 2021 Specialized Diverge Elite. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to check out the other videos and browse around on my channel.